All right, so in this lesson, we had a quick introduction to gases and how gas particles interact with one another. So basically, gas particles are constantly in motion. They themselves don't take up a lot of volume. Mostly, they're just empty space. When they do collide with one another, they don't stick or they don't repel one another. They don't actually attract or repel each other. And then finally, when you increase the temperature of a gas, those, their particles will move faster. The other concept I introduced with respect to gases was their pressure. Now pressure is simply the force that a gas exerts over a specific area. And then I went into units of pressure, and that's what I'm gonna give you some more practice with right now. So here I have the relationships that I gave you. I gave you the fact, I told you that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury, which is also equal to 101.3 kilopascals. Okay, so all of these conversion factors are equal to each other, so I can use them interchangeably. So let's look at these three examples. First, I tell you you have 2.0 atmospheres, and I ask you to get into millimeters of mercury. So you're gonna put atmospheres on bottom, you're gonna put millimeters of mercury up top, okay, and based on the relationship that I showed above, 760 millimeters of mercury equals one atmosphere. And so you, what you end up getting, you're gonna take two, multiply by 760, and you get 1,520, okay? 2.0 has one two sig figs. This relationship here is exact, so I'm not gonna use it to determine sig figs. So I have one two sig figs. So my answer is gonna be 1,500, and my units are millimeters of mercury, okay? Next practice problem. 795 millimeters of mercury. Okay, and I want to get into kilopascals. So I'm going to put millimeters of mercury on bottom, and I'm going to put kilopascals up top. Based on these relationships here, I know that 101.3 kilopascals has a pressure of 760 millimeters of mercury. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 795. I'm going to multiply by 101.3, and then I'm going to divide by 760. And what I get, unrounded, for my answer is 105.965. Here, 795 has three sig figs. This relationship is exact, so one, two, three. So this is going to round to 106, and my units are kilopascals. For the last example problem, 105 kilopascals, and I'm trying to get into atmospheres now. So kilopascals goes on bottom, atmospheres goes on top. I know that one atmosphere has a pressure of 101.3 kilopascals. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 105 and divide by 101.3. And what I get unrounded is 1.0 365. Keep in mind 105 has three sig figs. One, two, three. So this is going to be 1.04, and my units are going to be atmospheres.